Welcome one and welcome all to the People's Channel. Orchids for Dummies. I am Foul Pal Darrell and I welcome you to my indoor grow space. In today's video, I will be updating you on the beautiful Phalaenopsis orchid, Shelleriana, a species Phalaenopsis orchids that I'm growing indoors. Now, if this is your first time to this channel, please like this video and subscribe, okay? Ring that bell and you will be notified. <laughs> Stay tuned. Now, as I said, I am Val Pal Darrell. I want to share with you my Shillerania or Shillerianna collection. Now, this beautiful masculine Shillerianna was purchased at Redlands in 2019 at the Redlands Orchid Festival in Florida. If you can see the name, Fal Shulleriana Wilson, okay, with the variegated leaves. I love these leaves. This is absolutely my favorite Phalaenopsis orchid in the world. Okay, I love the purple underside of the leaves. So magenta and so beautiful. So beautiful. Long, luscious leaves. Long and luscious. Long and luscious. I wanted you to be able to see the muscles in the leaves. You can see the lining. In the cell wall lets you know that this is a very strong and healthy Shulleriana. This is my first rebloom. I am still waiting as the flower spike is over 28 inches long and growing. I have two flower spikes holding it together and as you can see, now I need a third. I'm going to measure it for you if you don't believe me. Oh. I stand corrected, 29 inches. 29 inches, that is crazy. It's over a, almost two, it's over two feet long. It's over two feet long, pal pals. Very outrageous. I'm really excited about the blooms. I really hope that it gives quite the display. If you did not know, the Shelleriana comes in varieties. Another variety of the Shulleriana is going to be the Phalaenopsis Shulleriana by SIB with the Philippines. That's where it's from. This is an orchid from Hauserman's Orchid. It is still in its original container. I've had it for a little under a year. I've brought it early spring. This is December. As you can see, it really needs some water. I actually had broken the spike because the clip was too strong. It pierced through it. If I move it, the flower spike will break off completely. As you can see on my first rebloom, from this Shilleriana that I have five beautiful purple buds. What I wanted you to pay attention to, it has beautiful variegated leaves, beautiful purple undertone of the leaves. The flower spike even looks similar to the one I just showed you. But if you put them side by side, you can tell the difference in the pattern 
of the leaves and you are also able to tell that one of the Shellariana Phalaenopsis orchid has leaves that are pointy. And this Shellariana has one that is round. So as I said, I love to collect the different varieties of the variegated Phalaenopsis orchid. This beautiful Phalaenopsis orchid was from Norman. So um, it came to me rootless with only two flower buds, flower flowers on it. And I started it in the method of water culture. Now it has beautiful roots and I am just working on fertilizing it. It is purple undertone as well. It did not come that way. So I am still putting my touches on it. It is growing this leaf slowly, but that is okay. That is what I learned from my first Shilleriana from Redlands. I had this year this Phalaenopsis orchid for over a year and it had only grown out two leaves. The first six months or so, it only focused on roots. So that is how they typically grow with establishing their roots first and then the leaves will come. And in the winter time, if the orchid is healthy and adequate, it will produce a flower spike for you. Okay. I also have a phalaenopsis called the Suturiana, Sturtiana from the Philippines, which is very similar. I will show it to you, but you must stay tuned. Welcome back. Thank you so much for staying tuned. Please like this video, subscribe to it, and ring the bell so you will be notified. Now this Phalaenopsis right here is, <laughs> it has a kiki. It has a kiki and that is what I loved about it, but it has not done anything for me since I have had it. And so we are going to do the best that we can to nurse it to health. It was one of those eBay orchids, and those eBay orchids sometimes are not the healthiest of orchids, but I'm going to do what I can to it by repotting it. So you want to stay tuned to a future video when I get to repotting all of my Shellerianas. So it was nothing very spectacular to show about this Phalaenopsis other than it had the same pattern as the one that I showed you before. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that I inspired you and educated you on some of the beautiful varieties of the Phalaenopsis orchids. Make sure to ring the bell so you will be notified when I post a video. I hope that you have a happy growing. Until next time.